Hi everybody, it's Peter Zellums, Greeny Flix Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Yes, you would have noticed from my last video, installing the dash cam into my Hilux, right there, that I crashed in five minutes after installing it. I had left some doors open. On the Hilux here, there are some side doors here, and then also a rear door, and then there is a rooftop tent at the, at the top here as well. And if you leave any of those open when you're driving away, you potentially could have a serious situation. And that's exactly what I had. We need to fix that. And I need to install some sort of device or switch or whatever, or some sort of a warning device that's gonna tell me, should I start the engine that one of these doors, either the side door, the, the top roof uh, tent, or the rear door is, is open so that's 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 what needs to be done now the good news is i have done it and i can show you what i've done a switch has to be installed somewhere for for this to work now what i've come up with something from the local electronics store in Australia or in Sydney there's a crowd called JCA they can provide different components and everything so what I was thinking was to get a reed switch that could be activated by a magnet so when the magnet gets close to the switch it turns it either on or off or whatever and here it is now I put the tape here because these switches are just stuck on right now and I can fasten it with pop rivets, which I haven't done right now. I have put double-sided tape there, and that holds it in place. And then, just to secure it a little bit more, I've put the tape on there. So it's not the most attractive looking setup right now, but that's okay. I wanted to prove that everything was working. I can rewire and rejig this later on. So I've put uh, the switch there, and I've got the electrical wires there. And these switches are put in parallel. So they need to be in parallel, so it doesn't matter which, whether it's this door, whether it's the back door, whether it's the roof tent, whether it's the other side door. If any one of those is open, then it closes, opens the circuit, closes the circuit. And then that is connected to a buzzer in the car, which is connected to auxiliary power. So as soon as you turn on that engine or the auxiliary power, it's going to buzz to notify me that one of these doors is open. I shall demonstrate. It's closed, so if I turn on the auxiliary in the car, but if I turn on the auxiliary, all sorts of things start coming on, which is great, it's buzzing away. The key thing is here, the auxiliary plug. It's glowing blue, and I now I've got power to the unit. Um, if I close the door, a warning sign goes off there's another warning sign it's all quiet however let's open up one of the side doors there and see what happens besides that saying the door this door is open okay oh then another buzzer tells me that I've hopped out of the car eventually that goes off so many buzzers all right so it's all quiet that's good and we'll open up that one and we'll open up that one and oh yeah yes it's another warning device <laughs> it's a buzzing sound that buzzing sound would drive you nuts so you know that at least um something is open and you can hear it and as i close it there you go. Open, closed. Open, closed. So that's good. And the same thing works with the back door. Switch up here. Oh yeah, back door's open now. And buzzing away. So, okay, that's the improvement. Uh, that all works. Everything sort of moved around a bit. Just about to go on the trip up to the snowy mountains. That's all ready to go. And that's closed. And the buzzing's gone off. 
All right, so that should save the next accident. It's funny, um, when you start talking about how accidents occur, then uh, it's not unusual for people to just volunteer more information about their near accident as well. So I, sh I shared this with the, my family and my daughter said, oh, funny you should mention that. Last time she borrowed the Hilux to go camping with her friends, they had packed up uh, everything and then they started to drive off. Within a few meters or maybe even a hundred meters, uh, somehow they were told that they had left the back door open completely when they drove off. So that will stop that situation from occurring again. All right. I think we have success in uh, setting up these little devices and switches. Now, how would I improve on this in my next version when I have some time? Uh, well, okay, let's turn the motor off. Okay, that's turned off. That's turned off. Everything's turned off now. Okay, finally. So, how could I improve on this? is right now I've installed all these switches on the outside for convenience. The next stage will be to install these reed switches on the inside somewhere where it's out of sight and have all the wiring hidden inside eventually leading back to the cabin or to some auxiliary power. All right, so that's version two of this setup. But anyway, that's, that's what it is now. Hope you found this uh, interesting. If you have, then give it a thumbs up. And if it's the first time to my channel and haven't already subscribed, then press subscribe and press notifications. You'll be notified when the next video is out. Love my Alucab Canopy Camper and Hilux, and this will just stop those accidents from occurring again. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers, bye.